Hey guys, I've gone through the mark schemes and I've come up with all the points you're going to need to write down if the examiners ask you the difference between thermosetting and thermosoftening polymers. Thermosetting and thermosoftening polymers have very different bonding, very different structures, which leads to different properties. So if we start off with thermosetting. In thermosetting, the examiners are going to want you to say that they have long chains. And that these chains are very strong. Now there is cross-linking between these chains. And this cross-linking is very hard to overcome. And when it is heated, it burns. Now if we look at a picture of a thermo setting, it is going to have loads of long polymers like this, these are our long chains, and then in between polymers we're going to have extra bonds like this. These are the cross links. Now the cross links makes it very very hard because we need a lot of energy to overcome these cross links. It makes it very very hard to separate the chains which means when it's heated it burns. So thermo softening now. Now thermosoftening still has these long chains and you will not get credit if you say layers because they are not layers, they are chains and they have intermolecular forces between the chains. Now these intermolecular forces, they're just like attractions. They just like, you know, being next to each other. They just like looking at each other. But these are actually very weak forces. Now because they're weak forces, they're easily overcome. Which means when they are heated, it melts. Now if we look at the structure of the polymers, these are just lots of long chains all kind of like tangled up together. So if you were to try and pull a single thread out of this, you could do that quite easily. Whereas up here in our thermo setting ones, you couldn't pull a single thread out, you'd get the whole lot coming out together. So, if you get a question about thermosetting and thermosoftening polymers and how it leads to properties, these are the sort of things you need to write down. This is what the examiner is going to be looking for. They could ask this as a four mark or a six mark question. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests or to see all the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Conos or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.